I would say the, the aesthetics of the storms fascinate me the most. Actually seeing the tornado is beautiful, but to be perfectly honest, when the tornado is going on and you're collecting data, I kind of lose everything else. The work we're doing right now on the, on the basic physics of tornadoes, will a storm produce a tornado? If it does, how strong will it be? What does the wind field look like inside a tornado? These are problems that we're trying to solve. My interest in extreme, severe weather began when I was very, very young, but I really didn't know that you could have a career in, in meteorology. Getting an education at MIT, working in the various laboratories, it was at that point that I realized, gee, maybe I should give meteorology a chance. I was at the right place at the right time because several years before I arrived out there, people began to chase storms. I mean, I didn't even know about the storm chasing when I went down there. When I found out about it, I said, oh yeah, I'd really like to get, get involved in this, which I did. We didn't have radars to go out. We weren't making measurements. We were just looking, taking pictures. And we would provide ground truth for the scientists back at the National Severe Storms Laboratory in, in Norman, who were looking at the Doppler radar. After doing this for several years, I realized, you know, we can get out fairly close to these severe storms and tornadoes. Why don't we bring instrumentation out there? In 1985, we could scan across a tornado and measure the maximum wind speed. In the early 1990s, we were able to see the inside of tornadoes with just absolutely incredible resolution. Around the year 2010, we made one of the first rapid scan measurements in tornadoes, learned a lot about the formation of tornadoes. And then the most recent thing that we began to do was the rapid scan X-band polar metric radar. It's like having 10 or 11 or 12 radars going at once. We've gotten spectacular data with it. If I reflect back in my career, I have to say that I'm a very lucky person. I'm still doing what I'm doing and I'm excited about the future because uh, colleagues of mine and I have a grant to uh, build a new radar and it will allow us to look at most of the storm's volume in five or six seconds. And this is going to allow us to see things we perhaps have never seen before. That's where you start to make the discoveries. You look at the data and you see things that you didn't expect. That's also very, very exciting. So.